Hey guys, this is Lynn. Thank you for joining me for yet another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. As you can see, I don't have on my wig, so let me go grab that so we can have our talk for the week. I'll see you back in just a second. Hey guys, so I am back wearing this lovely purple wig. It is from the Empress line. Her name is Dee. The color is uh, 1B Plum Purple. And uh, I'm so far, first impressions of the wig, the cap size is decent. I like the color. Do I look like Barney? Because sometimes I don't know if I should really wear purple hair, but I love it. So um, yeah, that's why I decided to go ahead and go with this wig. I like how it looks. I like the wave pattern of it. Uh, I think it actually is a very nice wig. I may make it one of my regulars in my rotation uh, when I decide to go out and take it out into the world and take it for a little spin, a little spinny spin. Oh, guys, so what's been up with me? Well, just about every damn thing. As you can see, I have moved back to the living room because in my area upstairs where I have set aside to record, there's nothing in there and I was getting a lot of weird feedback on the last video. Um, so I decided to go ahead and move all of my lighting and uh, camera and things of that nature here uh, in my first living room uh, until I get my area upstairs together. I did do the wall. I just have to hang my draperies, a couple of little pictures, flowers, and then it'll be set up and ready to go. I hope that will be done within the next week or so. We'll see, cause you'll know the background will change. Um, just been busy with work, life, business, things of that nature. So uh, other than that, I've just been out here doing me. That's the only way I know how to be. Uh, authentically and unabashedly me. Those of you that love me, love me. I appreciate you, those of you that hate me. Shit, go to hell. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm going to be me. Uh, and at the end of the day, that's all I know is to be myself. And so I hope you'll do the same. Uh, and I hope you'll continue to join me here every week for Weekless Wednesdays as I continue to share my little bit of two cents uh, and beyond with you and share a little bit of my life with you as well. So guys, this week, I could not wait to talk about the whole uh, Fantasia Barino um issue her and her husband uh I, I i'll put a quote up you know in just a second so you guys can take a look at it but essentially uh what fantasia barino if you guys don't know who fantasia barino is she is a uh r&b artist who won uh, american idol a few years ago i actually enjoy her music i like her as an artist she's very very talented beautiful singing voice um she's had her share of rocky relationships and uh just recently maybe within the past couple of years ago okay in the past couple of years i know she's gotten married Great for her, right? Hey, I'm looking for a husband. You know anybody? Do you? Anyway, um, so she's got married, and a couple of weeks ago, she maybe about a week or so ago, she made a comment saying that uh, women need to learn how to be queens. Black women are single. Something to the effect of black women are single because we don't know how to submit to our kings. And when we learn how to submit to our kings, then, you know, we won't be single. And so I agree and I disagree. I agree and I disagree. I agree that a woman should, to, cert to a certain extent, be submissive to her mate. I'm sorry, guys. Please don't leave me a thousand comments, hate mail, whatever. I am old-fashioned in that respect. I do believe that a woman should be submissive to her mate. And one day when I finally get a mate, wherever he is, anybody know anybody, uh, you know, hook me up in the comments. But anyway, um... I do believe a woman should be submissive to her mate. I've often said that I feel like I was born maybe a couple of decades too late because I would have been perfectly fine being a homemaker, mother, wife, you know, being at home all day, taking care of the house. I would have been perfectly fine doing that. However, I was born when I was born. And uh, although I agree with a lot of uh, Miss Barino's comments, I disagree with a portion of it as well because she said something to the fact that that's why we're single because we have not learned how to submit to our, our, our king and, and be the queen of the household and not try to be the king. And I get that, I really, really do. But how can I be a queen if I don't have a king? Huh? huh? What? You want me to be a queen? You want me to be a kingless queen? How, how does that work? Because at this point, uh, there's no king. And I gotta handle business in the meantime, you know. I gotta still take care of these bills and these babies and these responsibilities. So, I mean, granted, if my king wants to come in on his white horse and, uh, you know, come in and rescue us to where I can just be 
my wonderful submissive, the, the, the part of me that I know exists, okay? That will be great. However, in the meantime, somebody has to handle this business. And that someone is me. Now, does that mean I turn men off? Maybe. And I've discussed this in a previous video. Um, the strong personality, women with strong personality like myself, does that turn men off? And I honestly don't know what to say about that. Um, I can only be who I know how to be. And I can only handle things like I know how to handle them. Now, would I love to have a mate? Sure. Would I mind being submissive and letting him be the head of the household? No, I would not. But in the meantime, what am I supposed to do? How can I be a how can I be a kingless queen? How? Maybe that's what I'll title this video. How can you be a kingless queen? Okay. Um, I, I need the king to come along before I can be submissive to him. In the meantime, I have to do what I have to do, right? So a lot of my com a lot of her comments I do agree with, but at the same time, you can't say that that's why I'm single because I don't know how to submit because I don't have a reason to be submissive. I don't have a reason to be that submissive queen. And hopefully one day I will have reason to be that. But in the meantime, like I said before, I got to do me. Okay. And I certainly don't expect that some of you people would actually think that I'm going to be a queen to a man that has not taken on that role as king. Like, you got to come and be my husband, boo boo. You can't just be my boyfriend or my friend or my side piece or my, my, my late night creep booty call whatever you want to call like I can't treat you like a king because you're not having, having assumed that role right you're just in my life in that role that you play so when you're ready to assume that role then of course that means guess what Miss Submissive is on the way but until then I gotta be dominating because that's what I have to do in order to make things work around here okay okay short little video this week guys I am still adjusting I know I've been saying that for like three weeks um if any of you have ever moved before, you know it is a true hassle. <laughs> the next time I move, mark my words, I'm going on vacation for a week to Jamaica. When I come back, I need the movers to have everything moved and unpacked. And I don't care how much it costs, but I need that to happen. Because I hate moving, I hate unpacking, I hate organizing, I hate it. And I'm also the kind of person that cannot live out of a box. I have to know where stuff is. So when I move, I have to unpack the stuff like the next day or the day after that. Or else I am doubly frustrated. So uh, that being said, guys, when I move, and you know, I probably will move again. When I move, somebody else is doing it for me. I'm going on vacation because I'm not going to be able to do this. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue to bring you some valuable content. Or at least I hope you think it's valuable. Um, we're coming upon one year Wigless Wednesdays here on YouTube. And I thank you guys so much that have been, been with me from the start. I hope that you'll continue to join me here each and every week as I continue to bring you a little bit of me. Okay, hopefully you'll see a little bit of you. If you guys want to visit my website, visit www.journeytobeme.net um, and pick up on some of my blogs and information and things of that nature, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me here on Wednesdays. And I'll see you again next week for another segment of Wigless Wednesdays. I will talk to you and see you very, very soon. Goodbye.